Yes? Do you want a book about birds of the Southwest? I might. Why do you ask? Because I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm going to Phoenix next spring, and I'd like to bone up on the birds I'll bone see down up. there. Bone up. I don't I'd like that expression. You, but I'm afraid I left all my bird books at home. Sorry. Damn, she didn't fall for it. If I were to ask you which planet you most identify with, which one would you say? Earth. No, wait. Make that Venus. No, Earth. No, actually Venus. No, Earth. No offense, dear, but that's a very silly question. I mean, you answered me it. Well, I'd better stop bugging you and get to work. Ta-ta! She said Earth in the end, right? Oh. Is this yours? Oh. A bullet! What? That bullet? Don't be silly. Why would I be carrying ammunition around? Because you're out shooting people and um, killing people with guns and bullets. It kind of looked like it dropped out of your pocket. Well, since it was never in my pocket, that's impossible now, isn't it? It was probably lying you there on the floor slider. all along, and you just happened to kick it into view, that's all. This did used to be a hunting lodge, dear. I wouldn't worry about it. Ooh. You used that bullet I found on the floor to alter the sights on Ollie Randall's rifle, didn't you? What? That's so ridiculous. It's laughable. You did it because you're a member of Run and Grow Yes, Free, Nancy, and you to use your detective cost, skills. I'm so Look, proud of you putting do everything I really together. Look like some kind of wildlife fanatic? Yes, yes, I you never do. never judge books by their covers, Miss Camille. Look, I don't want to see any Only wildlife fanatics either. would if care this little about free, their personal appearance. I'm good at keeping secrets, believe me. You're right. I am a member of Run and Grow Free. I did make sure that brute would miss if he took a shot at the wolf, and I will do whatever it takes to protect that beautiful creature. She's going to kill Ollie. Does doing <laughs> That's why she's it keeping the bullet. Down Icicle Creek Lodge? No. What else have you done to protect the wolf? That's all I'm going to tell you, Nancy. And if you really are concerned about the wolf's welfare, you won't repeat any of this to anyone. Is that a threat? How many other bullets do you have? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> okay, now we can... Oh, oh, look at him snoring. Nancy, hi. What the heck happened out there? What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? I walked out to Icicle Lake to see how you were doing in the fishing shack, only there wasn't any fishing shack. There wasn't <laughs> even a lake. The ice was all busted up like somebody dropped a bomb on it. Oh, I know. Damn, it destroyed a whole lake. Foot Northern Pike, I walked outside and someone knocked me unconscious with an ice ball. Freddy! I knew there was an explosion and I was on an ice floe in the middle of the lake with no coat and no fish. Somebody decked you with an ice ball and blew up the lake? Holy moly! The good news is you're okay. The bad news? No more. Yeah, what a shame. I know this is going to sound like a strange question, but what planet do you most identify with? Hmm. I guess it would be Mars. You know that whole god of war thing? No. I should have known. I, I mean, he's not aggressive at all. Like, I think he's got this grandiose idea of himself as this real macho man um, who's very intimidating. Um, and I get that you're ripped under there, Bill, but... No, you're more like... Uranus. I've kept you awake long enough. Anytime you want to talk, just wake me up. I wish I was the type of person that could sleep anywhere at any time. Okay. Um, Guadalupe, I think, said Earth at the end. Bill said Mars. Chantal's on the phone, Nancy. What? What's happening? You failed to serve lunch. Cooking is part of your job. What were you thinking? Now drop whatever you're doing and go to the kitchen right now. Someone Don't dropped a bomb day. on me, Chantal! Fuck you! <laughs> Two salmon and a salad again for Freddy. Freddy hungers. I wish I could just like basically call call in sick for dinner. 
I feel like uh, seeing this salmon reminds me of the time I almost died just earlier today <laughs> when someone bombed the fishing shack that I was in. It was actually very traumatizing. Can you give me a bit of a break here? Can Ollie make dinner just this once? Please. You know Chantel would never stand for that. Like, I told her that Tino makes me uncomfortable, and she's like, well, I don't care. I insist that you interact with Tino. Um, I'm not gonna coddle you, Nancy. Fuck no. Order they really do artificially inflate this game with all the lunch, dinner, and breakfast cooking, and the snowball fights with Ollie, and the slow, ponderous way Nancy moves from screen to screen when you're walking through the snowy wilderness. Like, I feel like if I cut out all of that or just, like, shortened it a little, this game would be half the length it actually is. And it's, like, one of the longest Nancy Drew games. Okay, we gotta find the hometowns. Eled Sayet for Yanni. Toronto for Bill. Brea for Lou. And Los Angeles for Guadalupe. Oh, I forgot to put paprika in everyone's food at, at dinner. God dang it. Oh, well, I have to wait till tomorrow to see what side of the bed they get out of anyway. Uh, I'm glad for the chance to talk once again. There is something I must explain. By all means, explain away. Just your what general before, oddness. <laughs> it is because my grandmother was killed by wolves. Killed and devoured. Damn, dude, that's heavy. <laughs> Are you serious? I remember this story. Again, it's like one of my favorite things about this game. I feel like I love Nancy Drew the most when it's at its most unhinged. And this story is just like the pinnacle of unhinged. Are you serious? Years ago. When my mother was a little girl, her mother, my grandmother, was on her way back from the village on her motor scooter, which was and still is the only means of transportation most Fredonians can afford. It was January, and the sun had just set, and it was dark, very cold. There were thousands of wolves in the countryside that winter. At night they would roam in huge hungry packs. My grandmother was halfway home when she came upon a young man waving from the side of the road for her to stop. He too had been on a scooter, but his had broken down and wolves were gathering all around him, preparing to attack. My grandmother of course stopped and he leapt on behind her and they took off down the road with the wolves, dozens of them chasing after them. Oh my but god. With two people riding it, her scooter was slow, much too slow, and the wolves soon caught up with them. <gasps> And when one of the wolves seized my grandmother's boot in its teeth and started to pull, instead of helping her, the man pushed her off the bike. It instantly gained speed and he got away. My grandmother, set upon by the wolves, did not. Oh. If she died, how do you know that's what happened? Because the man was my grandfather. <laughs> the man was me. <laughs> If she died, how do you know that's what happened? Tormented by guilt, the young man eventually confessed. He went to prison for several years, and the wolves were hunted year-round until the countryside was rid of them. But the damage was done. And so, I'm happy to talk to you about any subject except wolves. About them, <laughs> I have nothing to say. Oh, thanks for all that. I want a game about Yanni's grandmother. That's what I want. She sounds like a very interesting lady. Would you mind telling me what planet you most identify with? Pluto. Pluto. Actually, Pluto's not a planet uh, anymore. Yes, it is, Nancy. That is exactly the point. Pluto stirs up passion and controversy. Yet it continues undaunted on its course, as do I. Pluto and I, we are as brothers. You know, I think I would I would also choose Pluto. Um, like the underdog planet. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Come back in. But who time. people still still passionately care about. <laughs> I love Pluto. What planet would you most identify with? Let me know in the comments. 
for Tino's sake. He wants to know. He called me himself on the phone and said, I need to know what everyone watching this video's favorite planet is that they most identify with. So I need you to tell me. You wouldn't want to disappoint Tino now, would you? What you need. What's the laziest planet? Because I feel like that's the one that Ollie is most like. No, what? I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I guess he's not one of my I'll suspects. Get out of your hair now. Keep me posted. So I guess we can't ask him that. <laughs> okay. I feel like Ollie's just so unimaginative that he probably wouldn't even be able to think of a planet that he most identifies with. Oh yeah, Lou, Lou wasn't here. Where is Lou? Where's Lou? I might just go to bed for the night. Gosh, that sound really makes me want to poison someone's what potato you, salad. You messed with my rival, didn't you? This I gotta hear. Excuse me? This fact just came for you. It's from the wacko left-wing wildlife gang that paid you to screw up my rifle so I'd miss that wolf. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm leaving this place right now. Good. One less person to cook for, and do the laundry for, and make the bed for. Yeehaw! It's a good day for Nancy. Let's try to kick everyone out. I, you know, actually, I can see why the cook um, might have poisoned the potato salad herself. I'm, I can see the temptation to just make everyone at the lodge leave, cause it's just so much. And she didn't even have to um, do the cleaning and the detecting and the guest relationing and the handy womaning. Like I have to do all of these and more. Okay, so this- wait, what's- Is it- His, her- okay, his, her. Um... It's like so, like, facing- so it would be, like, the right side? Because the sleepers are here? Who's- wait, who the fuck's room is this? Oh no. Oh no. Shoot, I can't clean this room yet. Oh, I, I have, have anything the, to put the, the dirty laundry, laundry in. Right, whose room is this? Can I tell from context clues? It's probably Yanni's, right? Yeah, the the moose head, it's Yanni's. Yanni's, so wait, hold on, wait, wait. The right. His his right. <laughs> My brain is is working overtime. Pish pish. Who's pish pish? Bill. Okay. Mm, Bill gets up on the right side. Good to know. Hey, did you see that? A little screwed up piece of paper. It's all totally unfair, and I'm sick of putting up with things that aren't fair. It's his fault, her fault, their fault that I don't have what's rightfully mine. Um, I love that he's inclusive and uses people's pronouns. They are thieves, and it's an insult to have what they stole from us waved around in my face. I could throttle him, both of them, for what they did. Justice shall be served one day. One day I will have justice! <laughs> oh my god. Calm down, please, sir. Where are the slippers? How am I supposed to know what side of the bed you get out of? Fucker? Damn you. <laughs> this survey's like all I have to do, and I'm gonna have to like skip through time. But skip through time in the worst way by having to skip forward to just doing all the meal serving, which is, at this point, objectively the worst part of the game. And just not very fun. I'll just have to, like, marathon. One, five, 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 mystico, and prepare to be amazed. The meal prep. Call 1555 Mystico and prepare to be amazed. Whatever you say, Nancy, let's do it. Ooh, even this music is suitably Who mysterious. Dares disturb the concentration of Mystico the Magnificent? Um, I'm sorry, this is Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, I see your future clear as tape. I see a white wolf and a dark figure named. Bruno. Bruno Boulay, Bruno? perhaps. But beware, Nancy Drew. The wolf will only lead to danger and intrigue. Cool. I mean, yes, Mystico. The Magnificent. Huh? 
You're supposed to say Mystico the Magnificent. Oh, right. Yes, Mystico the Magnificent. So, Nancy Drew, what secrets from the beyond do you seek? Ooh, a reason for being Nancy Drew has an existential crisis. That's the subject of the next next game. Some spice in my life. She definitely needs that. Um, with Ned as a boyfriend, um, something very special. Something very special. A wise choice. Return to the ice. Oh depths. no! <laughs> there you will discover. That, that means I have to go ice fishing again, right? Mystical has well, I kind of want all of those things, though. I would like also some spice in my life and a reason for being. <laughs> Other than working like a slave at this job, working like a dog. You know, I really respect Bill, because he always keeps his order simple. I appreciate that as the chef and etc, etc, etc. All my other hats that I'm currently wearing. Actually, I love to imagine Nancy wearing, like, five hats stacked up on her head. A chef's hat, a little maid's cap, a, like, Sherlock Holmes deer stalker, Ollie's cowboy hat. <laughs> All of them just on top of her head, towering up. Um, I think that's a very fun image. Oh my god, I forgot the fucking paprika again. God damn it! <laughs> You know what, honestly, I might just sleep until lunch, um, because, oh, you know what, very rude, ooh la la, Minette, I could go to back to the ice fishing place, like Mystico told me to. Carrying this laundry bag around oh, is a pain, I forgot that's about for that. me. Oh, a note? For moi? Nancy, because of that Neanderthal of a handyman, I've been forced to return home. Please call me. When it comes to the White Wolf, there is much for us to talk about. Okay, so we can call Guadalupe as well. Okay, so we've got a few things to do before before lunch. Please don't let me forget to put the paprika in the food this time. Good God. It sounds like she says my eyes, that one voice. <laughs> I mean, Nancy is hitting her straight in her open eyes, so... You know, that would actually make quite a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm looking out for, like, a blue gem? I think that's what Mystico said. Great, more fishing, and I thought I was finished with fishing. Finished? Get it? Because fish have fins. Um, but yeah, apparently I'm not. <laughs> the pain continues. Oh, the Easter egg, the Easter egg. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, where's my Easter egg? Oh, it's just there. Okay, I, I forget the whole process for this Easter egg. Oh? I feel like it's kind of complicated. Like, you have to go into a specific room or something? It's a good Easter egg, though. It's worth it, I think. Oh, here it is! Okay, it wasn't that complicated then. Nancy's dream. This is one of the most unhinged moments in this game as well, along with the Annie story. That is so fucking creepy. Absolutely terrifying. Those hands. Whose hands are they? What do they want? <laughs> oh man, talk about your freaky dreams. My subconscious needs to get a life. I can't believe that actually got me. <laughs> My subconscious needs to get a life. It's it's all the that uh, Canadian bacon. It doesn't agree with Nancy. Gives you weird dreams. Okay, paprika, paprika, paprika. We're gonna do it. God, I feel like a 1950s housewife chained to the stove. Oh, and Bill's just having a quesadilla. I can't exactly put paprika on that, or can I? Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> Is, did that did that go on this quesadilla? Order up. Oh, Lou just wants a quesadilla as well. No, oh, and by the way, don't go adding paprika to Lou Talbot's food anymore. Okay, it did work putting it on the omelets. Okay, so we know that Lou doesn't like it. So I think we can we can say that the others. Oh no, he does. He does hate it. Yes, he hates it.
speaking of Lou, is he is he fucking here now? I know he's Planet X. Maybe I'll just fill that in, honestly. I don't I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I look at the walkthrough. And I'll admit it. I actually didn't look at the walkthrough for that, to be fair. I just remember it, because <laughs> I think it's silly. Okay, Guadalupe, are you in now, bitch? Hello? Miss Camillo? Hi, it's Nancy Drew from Icicle Creek Lodge. Yes, of course. Is the wolf all right? Is the well, wolf all right? Well, hasn't succeeded in shooting or trapping it yet, if that's what you mean. If only I was there to protect it. Our organization is trying desperately to arrange to have the wolf captured and transported to a sanctuary. But so far, all the ones we've contacted are full. And unless and until we find a place for it, our hands are tied. Tell me more about the contact you've had with the wolf. It bought me a new coat. <laughs> when I was trapped out on the lake without a coat, you really do have to make so many phone calls in this game. Again, that's another thing that's artificially inflating the game time. Well, maybe not artificially, but like it does. Like I feel like the phone calls add a significant amount of time to this game. I feel like we haven't even got technically very start far in the story. There's still like a lot we have to do. We haven't even done like any of Trapper Dunn's puzzles. We haven't found his notebook. We haven't even like gone near his cabin yet. Um, good lord, this game is long. And it's all because I'm always fucking cooking, sweating over the stove. So the fact that this wolf doesn't seem to be that afraid of people could lead people to think they don't have to be afraid of it. Precisely. It could make them forget that all wolves are, first and foremost, wild. And while we're on the subject, do not ever, ever give in to the temptation to feed the wolf. For one thing, a wolf's jaws are twice as powerful as a German Shepherd's, and should your hand happen to get in its way when it tries to feed... I get the picture. For another thing, Making the wolf dependent upon you for food would seal its doom. It sounds strange, Nancy, but the Okay, got it. So don't do be making the wolf any nothing. omelets at lunchtime. Okay, can do. Are you the one who wrecked all the gear that was in the fishing shack? Yes, that was me. I was afraid that Bill Kessler fellow would encounter the wolf on one of his trips out to the shack, and that it would end badly for the wolf. So I did a number on his equipment. I've done worse while working on behalf of Run and Grow Free. Believe me. I've killed people, Nancy. <laughs> for you. From what side of the bed do you usually get up? That is weird. But harmless, I suppose. Let me think. I get up on my left side. Left side, left side, left side. Okay. Fine. I better get going. Thanks for calling. Oh, and from now on, call me Lupe. I think you've earned that right. We're friends! Nancy's first friend. This is a momentous occasion. Okay, so left, left side. What the fuck side does Lou get out of? Maybe we'll say both for Lou. Let's see what Tino says. What room is Lou in? Ina. Sure, I'll say both. Just want to get this survey over with. It drags on for so long, and then I can get the the snowshoes, and I can venture out to Avalanche Ridge. Hey, Nancy! I was wondering when your number there was gonna show up on caller ID. This is Dino Balducci. Remember me? Remember you, you uh, boy? Do I? Do I? Yeah, I want to help you find that long lost treasure. I'm not sure "helped" is the right word, Mr. Balducci. Mr. Balducci fact, was my Tino, father. I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled. Yeah, in. get him. Hey, that's all behind me. Ancient history. Water under the bridge. So, looks like we're gonna be working together on this sabotage thing, huh? Looks not like by choice. You believe you survey, me. Huh? What you think? Well, the questions were very... Ingenious? That's not quite the word I was going to use, but anyway, I did have one question. Very fucking you stupid. Me to fill out the survey for everyone at the lodge, but Ollie, why is that? Because Ollie's an employee. Um. So. 
Nancy, in my experience, which, let's face it, is far faster than yours, employees don't do stuff that's gonna endanger their jobs. And if these accidents force Chantel to shut down, Ollie'd be out of a job. Ergo, Ollie is not a suspect. Hmm, I disagree. There's a lot wrong with Ollie. And he, I think he's in a prime position for sabotage. Like, if he was out there, like, I don't know, icing the stairs, no one would probably think twice. Could they be like, oh, he's just doing his handyman thing. Whereas, he's actually sabotaging. No offense, but I think you're wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, tell me this, Miss Smarty Boots. How much is Chantel paying you? Huh? How much? Um... Nothing. Well, she's paying me. Oh, I what knew it. What the fuck, Chantel? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, she That's is rip. I'm he is definitely ripping her off. That's what I said at the start. I sure am. I, I like. I can't believe. Like, I feel like I should just call Chantel after this and be like, "Where's my fucking money? Where you're you're paying Tino for me to complete his survey?" Hey. Nice work, Nancy. According to the survey, our purpose. Mm, but Bill, Bill Kessel no. likes to ice fish. Guadalupe Comillo is the one who likes to bird watch. Yanni Volkstaya is a champion skier, and Lou Talbot likes to snowshoe. Oh. How did you come up with that survey anyway? I put it together using this profiling kit. Oh, and it worked when I put in Planet X without asking Lou. That's interesting. You know, maybe I just need to look at the survey data from a different perspective or something. Yeah. Maybe the answer is there after all, and I just gotta shuffle things around and- Somehow I don't think okay, that's what your problem uh, is. I think your problem is, Tino, that you're you. I think that's- that's what your problem is. Yes, to the ooh, display ooh. case. What is it? Seven, six, six, nine. Okay, sweet. I'm still gonna call Chantel, though, and ask her to- to pay me. Um, because- What's Tino doing? He, like, made up this stupid little survey in, like, five minutes, and he's getting definitely overpaid for that, and I'm getting paid nothing for doing five different jobs. I, I think that's really unfair. Like, the gender pay gap is just growing Hello? wider and wider every I day. I that survey and faxed it to Tino. I know. I was a little disappointed to hear that it had failed to pinpoint the culprit, but Tino said he's still analyzing the data, whatever that means. Anyway, what else is going on? Pay me for my work. <laughs> no, how is that not an answer even after talking to Tino about the me. fact that he's getting money and I'm not and I am objectively doing more work than him. Fine. Okay, Nancy. You're you're Nancy's too nice for this. She needs to be more assertive in situations like this. Honestly, okay, what's the number again? Clues. 7669. That did it. Woohoo! Some antique snowshoes that are definitely not going to wither away in the process of me actually using them. Um, uh, yeah, the early 1900s, these are like a hundred year old snowshoes. I'm sure this will be fine. Okay, and I've got lots of toasty packs, which is good. How many, actually, how many do I have? I've got four. Seems like a good amount. Wait, and what's the what's the temperature like right now? I feel warmer already. Oh, it's in the danger in the danger zone. That's fine, cause I got my toasty packs. What? Oh, fuck! Did I forget to do lunch? No, I think I set my alarm and did lunch, and then I faxed the survey. I think I pr I pray to God. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm a little concerned. It's fine. Now I got my little snowshoes on. Look at me now! Look, Ma! No! Avalanche! <laughs> 
Yeah, this whole animation sequence. Like, this game must be so rough on speedrunners. What with the obligatory food making and all the little, like, cutscenes where, like, Nancy slowly plods into frame. Little journal, eh? Possible Argent uh, <laughs> or new species. Two vertebrae empl expo employed <laughs> as furniture. Petrified wings for muscle attachment missing, otherwise, is in excellent condition. Um, I bet they're selling those on Etsy. Owner is clueless. Foot search of immediate vicinity, private property yielded zero. Possible sauropod scapula. Take to lab for precise ID. What is a sauropod? Gold mine. Hmm. Well, I think that's a clue. I'm starting to get. If I don't get warm Wait, wait, wait! Soon, I've got. I may not. Make I've got it. my toasty pack. Wait, actually, should we? Oh no, we can't get in here yet because we don't know the code. That's Looks right. Like some kind of house. Could someone be living there? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna save quickly. Oh my god. How? Why is the temperature go down uh, while I'm in the menu? Is anyone here? That's so mm, It doesn't sound like it. Okay, so we don't know the code. Okay, oh, don't I lie down. Don't lie down. Don't lie down. Oh, I forgot this is what the toasty pack did. I forgot that it didn't just warm you up. I'm hanging on by a thread right now. Uh, 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 Nancy, Nancy, hurry, no, toasty pack, no! <laughs> Damn it. Handyman laments American teens lack of common sense. Fuck you, Ollie. If Nancy dies, like, I can't believe- if Nancy died and he, he went to the newspaper being like, well, rip her, but she was an idiot. Is- have I canonically discovered the- no, okay. Let's utilize the toasty pack now. Um, better to be prepared ahead of time, I think, is the play. Use toasty packs more on the defensive rather than the offensive. Employ another that toasty pack. Me up. Deploy it. All right, and the wolf potentially shot someone with a shotgun. God, a killer wolf. Possible sauropod scapula. You know, I don't have time for that, Nancy. ID. Let's just find this cabin and head back to the lodge. I actually don't know if I'm gonna make it. I can't believe even like four toasty packs isn't even enough to comfortably make it to the cabin and back. Toasty pack. That's my last toasty pack already. Not gonna be toasty anymore. Not for much longer. There it is, my last toasty pack. Depleted. Oh my god, yeah. <gasps> this is gonna be hairy depending on how much. Oh no. I'm getting sleepy, getting sleepy. It's not, it's, it's, it's not possible. I need another toasty pack. They, oh, I forgot how, I, like, I knew this part was tedious and, no, please don't. Don't use the toasty pack already. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get two more toasty packs, that means. <sighs> um, yeah, like I said, I forgot how absolutely tedious and ridiculous this is. Um, my god. It's not even like the fights against Ollie um, have any variation in them. They're the same every time. And it's not exactly challenging. But if I want to survive in the harsh Canadian winter, 
I have to brain a child in the head with snowballs over and over and over again. I want to have, like, a counter at the end of this Let's Play of, like, how many snowballs I hit Freddy in the head with. Like, I want, like, a, a counter. I need to know the exact number. Hopefully that'll be enough now, then. We- we shall see. Already. Like, part of this game is just knowing the proper toasty pack strategy. Maybe I should have already equipped one. Mmm, I probably should have, shouldn't I? Oh well! Okay. Come on, toasty pack. Oh fuck, I forgot to put on my goddamn snowshoes. It's not one thing, it's another. I did have my toasty pack though, so at least I was nice and warm as I was crushed to death by a pile of snow. Tons and tons of snow. At least I was warm. Small consolation, really. Mm, these toast. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> the wolf's on a shotgun rampage again. This feels like such a waste of a toasty pack, but I feel like I need to be aware that that house is there for the story to progress. Thank God Freddy has an infinite supply of toasty pegs, because I actually don't know what I would do otherwise. Actually, I do know. I do know what would happen. I would, I would die. I would actually perish. We've seen it happen already. And then Ollie would write nasty things about me in my in my obituary. That fucker. I already hated him enough. So now I know that five toasty packs is the necessary minimum amount of toasty packs to get me to the cabin and back. I feel warmer already. God damn. Who's this from? Another little note. Just me send me a text. God damn. Some interesting information for you. Oh yeah. This sounds good to me. Yeah, it's, I've just been out in the cold all day. Sauna sounds great. I'm sure nothing bad could possibly happen. Even though I read that um, foreboding notice in the employee manual about the sauna door sometimes getting stuck. But I'm sure that's not foreshadowing. What's this, though? Yikes. Looks like Yanni has good reason to be so paranoid. Leave this place now or be prepared to leave it forever! Permanently! You'll be taking a one-way trip to hell, my friend. Yay, sauna time! Hello? Anybody here? These weren't here before. Whoa! Birthmark below his eye looks very familiar. Oh my god, I love this... I actually kind of hate it, but I also kind of love this squashed raccoon hat. <laughs> My god. Ah, so nice. Actually, I don't need to to feel the heat of a sauna. I'm getting really, really hot. Once I get all these pipes connected, I can turn on the cold water and cool this place off. This puzzle is too intense. Oh no. I feel like you have, like, so little time for this puzzle, too. I can't take this heat much longer. I know, Nancy! I'm trying my best here, honey! Please! I... I've got to get these pipes aligned before I it know, Nancy! I don't have much time. What's I've going on here? these pipes lined up now. I know! No! <laughs> Dead. Dead. I, Ollie didn't even write me an obituary that time. No one did. Hey, I've forgotten in my death. There? The doors. Whew, I'm getting. Once I get all these pipes connected, I can turn. I was so close last time. Off. I just like freak out a little bit at this puzzle. Um, the music is so intense, and I know I have such a limited time to do things. I'm running out of time. I realize that, Nancy. Yeah, 
I've got to get these pipes aligned before it pass out from the heat. Oh, really? I didn't realize. I'm gonna still be locked in, but at least I won't feel like a rotisserie <laughs> I like that line. Nancy. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Kessler. What Jump scare, Bill Kessler. I'm here looking for Ollie, but then I heard all this noise and thought I'd better check it out. Door got stuck again, huh? Say, you look kind of bedraggled. Are you alright? I'm fine. Say, I'm Mr. Kessler, are these pictures I found you? <laughs> Did you yeah, previously that's... own a squashed when raccoon hat? This place was practically my second home. Oh. My late grandmother, Tilly Wentworth, used to own That's not what you said. So, when you said this was the first time you've been here... I lied. See, about two years ago, just before she died, my grandmother sold this place to Albert Moikwe without telling anyone in her family. From what I've heard about Moikwe, I'm pretty sure he bullied her into selling. I think he cheated her, and he cheated us, and that it's high time somebody... Taught him a lesson by, say, putting Icicle Creek Lodge out of business? I had nothing to do with that explosion, lose window, the food poisoning, the icy stairs, none of that stuff. You ask me, it's karma. The Moikwes are just getting what's coming to him. Like, why does he keep coming back here if he holds such resentment for the management? Like, surely, like, that would kind of mar any enjoyment he would get out of coming here as on a vacation. Anyway. Since he used to spend so much time here, do you know if there's a way to get into Trapper Dan's needle? You know that pyramid thing on the table over there by the entrance to the dining room? If you fool around with it until nothing but pigs show on the outside, this compartment will open up and inside will be this round magnetic thing that used to be Trapper Dan's special master key. Just hold it up by the needle and a hidden door will pop That's open. pretty advanced so for like 1905. You know? <laughs> no, my bratty cousin Elwood told me it was filled with skeletons and I never worked up the nerve to go in and see for myself. And maybe it was filled with skeletons. Oh boy, I hope it I is. Mean, let's face it. Living all by himself way out here in the wild, winter after long, dark winter, Trapper Dan was probably stark raving bonkers. That's what I'm saying! I better get going. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, finally we get into some of the Trapper Dan puzzles. We start the kind of Trapper Dan storyline at last. Oh. Empty. <gasps> if there was a special master key in here, it's gone now. Absolutely devastating. So that you're telling me that puzzle was absolutely pointless. That's what you, that's what you're telling me. Okay. Got it. Got it. Understood. Huh? Oh. Hey. This is a very Nancy response, so I'm definitely going with this one. <laughs> like low-key judgmental, passive aggressive. Miss High and Mighty. Have a hard time sleeping at night, you know. I can sleep anytime, anywhere. That's what happens when you got a clear conscience. Damn, okay, that was also kind of passive-aggressive, like, Nancy, I can tell you've got some sins <laughs> in your past. Your soul is blackened around the edges. I can see it. <laughs> I opened up that pyramid like you told me, but there was nothing inside. Will you accept <laughs> Jesus into your soul, Nancy? Oh. Only he well, can save you now. There's no other way to get into Trapper Dan's Needle? You know, Grandma Tilly once told me that if you turn the top of the pyramid 45 degrees, then fill all the boxes on the outside with one kind of animal, then another kind of animal, until you do that for all four animals, she said if you do that, you'd find a journal in there written by Trapper Dan himself. Did you ever read it? I was a kid. What would I want to read some crazy old coot's journal for? I, I would have wanted going. to do that. That'd be so cool, like discovering a piece of history. I was obsessed with that kind of thing as a kid. I always wanted to find like secrets in old houses and things like that. Okay, wait, 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 we gotta tweak the top of the pyramid first. Okay, let's start with the raccoon then, I guess. Now the wolf.
Now the pig. Wow, that was actually so easy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now the moose. I'm just a god gamer. I think that's what it is. Oh yeah. Watch my confidence get knocked down. Yeah, I was gonna say watch it get knocked down by whatever, whatever the heck is going on here. Oh boy. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh no, maybe it won't be fine. <laughs> maybe it won't be fine. Oh, no it's fast? No. Mm. It'll be fine. I'll make it fine. Okay, you know what? Back away, back away. Do I have to- wait, do I have to do all of them again? Oh, no, just the moose. Okay. I've got- No, that was- that was a bad strategy before. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> I had a new strategy in mind. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, just divide the board like that, and it's EZ PZ. Daniel Weisnitz, better known as Trapper Dan, I'll bet. Okay, finally got his his journal. A hi ho ho to you <laughs> for discovering my hidden journal. A hi ho ho to you too, Trapper Dan. No doubt you already found my magnetic key hmm. that unlocks my needle and the rooms. Keep my secret space safe, especially from the Mounties and those rascally squirrels, devious varmints. But he drew highly detailed, uh, you could even say tenderly detailed drawings of the squirrels. I think he's a softie at heart. He's like the dad who's like, oh, I hate cats. I don't want to get a cat. And then when you get a cat, he's like, this is my child. This is my new baby. This is my favorite child. Okay, one thing's for certain, without an intelligent creature that can crawl through small spaces such as my beloved Mary, you won't be able to use my vaults. Well, I'm an intelligent creature that can crawl through small spaces. Hopefully Nancy doesn't have claustrophobia. I fixed the vault passageway so you can see if your animal is dumb or smart. <laughs> Getting lost in the vaults- wait, what if it turns out that it's dumb and it just gets stuck in there for the end of time? That's horrible. Make sure your pet can jump as there are pits in there and has paws or hooves to move the letters. Wait, it's levers. It said fit in small spaces. How are you going to get a fucking horse in there? Or a moose? No. I think, like, horse is more... No one has a trained pet moose, right? <laughs> That's not a thing. Um, a horse is... Maybe a pony. Like, it depends how small. Like, what? what's the definition of small in this context, Trapper Dan? The first thing you need to do is crack my cipher below, or just follow the moose, wolf, raccoon, and Mary. Looks like the rest is in some kind of code. Okay. And if you're a knucklehead and lost my magnetic key, don't run around yelling like some crazed wolverine. I've done it many times, and come up with an ingenious way of getting back into my needle. As for the rooms, well, you'll just have to bust down the doors and remake the key. Oh god, the infernal slot machine. I just remember that puzzle. God, fuck that puzzle. You know I'm gonna be using a walkthrough for that one. The first thing you need to do is crack my cipher below. Find my Rex bone and use it in the wall of my hideout. This, like, whole thing is very, like, much determinant of, like, whether... You have these various pieces, like, oh, if you've lost the magnetic key, that's fine. As long as you have the Rex bone, I'm sure you would never lose that. And uh, these, these are telling you that you'll need to win fucking Foxy Key Slater. God, I, I hate to even think about it. Can't find Mary? Well, try pulling on that rope above the vaults. That'll open up a surprise at the end of the hallway on the second floor. You'll just have to keep it taut. Mary always helped me with that once she got through the maze. Now you just need three more keys to open the keyholes. Sly Raccoon's hidden place. Why did they- why did he have to use adjectives in this as well? Like, if you're going to do this silly little cipher, like, just keep it 
as as short and sweet as possible, you know, as concise as possible. Like, don't be going out writing little fucking poems in your cipher. I don't have time for that, Trapper Dan. Okay, well, let's let's look at the moose first, because that's simple. We can do that right now. Like, give me your eye, bitch! <laughs> Isn't that what it said? Okay, it's been a few hours, I took a break, but now we're right back into it, and I remembered, aka looked up a walkthrough, that actually the moose is the one in Yanni's room, which is Kawakawa. Uh, so let's just mosey on over into here and, and check out the situation. Look, a moose! Wowie! Which is- so, this is so silly, like, I know it's supposed to be a puzzle. It's supposed to challenge your brain. But, like, the moose downstairs literally has, like, glowing radioactive green eyes. Like, and that's not the moose eye you're supposed to press? <sighs> But I love this. Oh god, the tokens. Something okay. tells me this radio belongs to Yanni. And if so, why is he hiding it? Hmm. Okay, I don't know Fredonian. So I can't say what they said there. I cannot translate that. Very suspicious though. He's listening to his illegal music. His illegal tunes. Um Right, we've done that. I'm just remembering that literally, like, uh, the rest of the game is, like, all puzzles and things that I <laughs> really don't like. Um, which is unfortunate. Like, I feel like this, the latter part of this game um, is a lot of puzzles, quite tedious puzzles, I've got to be honest. Um, this one isn't too bad, this one with the fire necklace. It's pretty fun to, like, figure out the first time you play the game, but obviously I've played this game before, and oh fuck, I just realized it's fucking dinner time! God damn it. Okay, I'll quickly do this puzzle, and then go make dinner for everyone. And this is so hard to see, too, this, like, raccoon. Like, it's so hard to tell that something has happened. Ah, this game. The delights of this game. At least, like I said, I've played it before, so um, I have some grasp on what I'm doing. I can't imagine playing this. Well, actually, I can't imagine playing this game for the first time because I fucking rage quit it. When is Ollie gonna tell me I don't have to do this anymore? Because I am sick of this and I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, goddamn, it's finally over. You know what? I'm going to Ollie right now and seeing if I can stop <laughs> serving all the meals because it takes up so much time. Like, I already know I'm gonna have to, like, go to bed right after this um, and then I'll just have to go make breakfast right, like, after this and I don't want to why can't the guests serve them out uh, themselves why can't we put out like a continental breakfast huh what you need uh no let them tell me I don't have to I'll do it anymore Ollie it. good you don't know how I suffer every day I have to go into that kitchen and cook salmon <laughs> and I hate it how can I help you why do you have a radio hidden away in your room how do you know about that? All I know is when I got done cleaning the moose head, that <laughs> cleaning. Was open, and when I looked in it, there was the radio. Now you answer my question. I use that radio to communicate with my coaches. It's a special radio. It scrambles the signal so that my competitors cannot listen in. How did you know there was a secret compartment in your room? The first night I was here, I searched for bugs. Something which, due to the cunning of my competitors, I have become very good at. I discovered that by pushing on the moose eye, a compartment opened up. What I don't know is, did you really open that compartment by mistake, or were you up to something else? How do I know you are not working for them? I'm no spy, I'm just very observant. I'm no spy, I'm just a detective. I'm no spy, Mr. <laughs> totally Rockstar. different. I'm just very observant. Who else have you told about the radio? No one. Everyone around here is so goddamn paranoid. So like, Guadalupe lying, also is like, who else have you told about sorry. this? Do you have any proof that your competitors are out there spying Yeah, Nancy on thinks you? it's- that's just what it is, paranoia. She doesn't believe it. assume that they are always close by. They are here, Nancy. Make no mistake. You're busy, so I'll let you go. I can't Kavichinaya. remember- Kavichinaya. Um, how you get the- 
Geiger counter in this game. Maybe it's in um, Track Your Dan's cabin, which I realize that I can actually go to because of this note, right? 6512, is that what that is? Okay. I, I literally didn't even look at it before because I forgot that part of the game and I was like, oh, I must need some kind of to know the secret code so I can decode it. Um, but no, <laughs> it's a lot more simple than that. I actually quite like that as a puzzle, even though it does, it is a small puzzle. Um, it's like a good, a good slight brain scratcher. You don't have to scratch it too hard, but you do have to scratch it a little bit. Okay, but before I can do that, we have to get the laundry and make breakfast. You know what, actually, before I make breakfast, Ollie, please release me from my duties, from my indentured servitude. What have I done to deserve this? Ollie, please. That's all the questions I had. See you later. I mean, actually, my question is, when can I stop doing this and just get down to the work that I was actually hired by Chantel to do? Thanks very much. Nancy should never have suggested that she become the maid. Like, I know she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be the maid. That's my reason for being there. And Chanel, or Chantel, just took that and rolled with it. That was Nancy's first mistake. She's just making it very easy for these people to take advantage of her. Ollie, <laughs> what do you say now? Wouldn't it be nice if I didn't have to make lunch or dinner today, need? huh? I'll get out of your hair now. See you later. I also just like constantly bothering him to let him know that I've got my eyes on him and I can see that he's not working. I wonder where Yanni went. Very suspicious. Maybe he's still eating his Canadian bacon though. Oh, someone actually made their bed today. Someone is a mature and responsible adult for once. What a fucking shocker. I say that as like a person who never makes my bed, but it just, I'm just very bitter about the fact that Nancy isn't getting paid for this at all. And that she's doing, you know, five jobs in one. All of that just brings out the bitterness within me. Okay. I mean, it's good that we've already got two of the tokens though. That's pretty successful. You know what we need to do now? We need to play lots of snowballs with Freddy. We need to hit her with 50 snowballs in quick succession to the skull and pray that it doesn't give her permanent brain trauma. Like, how many snowballs is too many snowballs? And also, like I say, maybe we're, like, permanently fucking with her vision as well. She thinks. You'll see me again sooner than you think. I mean, I think I'm the Snow Queen by this point, Freddy. Your title means nothing. You're more like the Snow Peasant. I've put you to work sweeping the snow streets. Actually, it wouldn't be great if you could make Freddy your indentured servant and be like, Freddy, um, you've lost too many times at snowballs, now you have to make all the meals in the lodge. See how you like it then. I mean, she's- she probably needs something to do. She seems pretty bored if she spends her whole day doing this. And it'd probably be better for her health in the long run. Like, I know she has a never-lasting supply of toasty packs, but it surely isn't good for her to be out here all day in the cold. There must be, like, a developer cheat or something in this game where you can get, um, unlimited toasty packs. Or you can, like, rig it so that Nancy's warmth level never goes down. Because I imagine, like, playtesting would get real tedious if you continuously had to go back to this child to earn more toasty packs. Okay, thanks very much, babe.